Just look at that! Oh, a little blob of ice cream. Hi everyone, welcome to Backyard Chef, I'm Rick. Today we're making rhubarb pie. We're going to do a rhubarb and custard pie. I'm lucky enough to have got some rhubarb. There's some fantastic rhubarb which I've topped and tailed already. And I've taken a little bit of the hard skin off to make it a little bit easier. Now, I was going to make a rhubarb pie in this deep dish. I've decided we're going to make it in a deep dish. So we're going to make a real rhubarb and custard pie. Now, this starts with making some short crust pastry. So we're going to make it by hand, show you how to do it. And then we'll crack on and put the pie together. And this is an easy pie to make because we're not making some fancy custard. We're using packet custard. We're going to bring it all together just like you would ingredients out of your cupboard. Come on, let's make this short crust. In here, I've got some flour. Okay, I'm going in there with some salt. Now, it is salt to taste. And we're going in there with some sugar. About a tablespoon of sugar. We are making a sweet pastry. We'll just give that a little mix in. Look. And then we'll go in there with our fats. Now I'm using shortening and butter. You can use all butter. And if you can't get butter, as I know out here in Asia, it's so expensive. If you can get margarine, you can do it with margarine. So it's easy enough to bring together, nice and gently, hands in, mix up. Now if you have a food processor, as we keep saying, it takes seconds. But to be fair, this is very easy. So just between your fingers and thumbs, Give it a little bit of mixing and lift and mix. And a little bit of lifting and shuffling between your hands. We're aiming towards those breadcrumbs or breadcrumb consistency. So nice and steady. Okay, and now I've got some water and we are just going to crack in an egg. In with a little bit of apple cider vinegar and we are going to give that a beating. Now it doesn't matter if it's not too perfect, that's good enough. Hole in the middle, chuck it in there. Turn around your fork, mix in. Hand in, bring it together. There we go, no fail, beautiful short crust pastry made. Now I'm going to split this into two balls. And then we're going to put it in cling film, stick it in the fridge. We're going to use one ball. One ball will be staying in the fridge for something else. Because this is going to be an open pie. So we want some cling film. Pastry on there, cling film over the top and just squash it a little bit, just makes it easier for rolling. You know, if it goes in in a big ball, it's a nightmare, you have to wait for ages for it to warm up. Okay, there's one, two pieces of pastry in the fridge. Now it's probably not going to get half an hour because we're going to crack on and make the filling. As soon as the filling's done we're putting the pie together. 
Okay, so bring the pie together then. We got our rhubarb. I have us some butter. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to bob some butter in that pan. You don't have to use butter, but you know, I'm going to cook the rhubarb down a little bit with butter in there and water and sugar. Give it that nice buttery type flavour, you know, it's going to be sour as heck. You can really go over the top, you know. You can mix it all in a, um, a bowl first and then chuck it in the pan or put it in a, a different type pan. That's up to you. We're going to throw everything in this pan as we prepare it. And then it can be start to be cooked. You know, we don't have to wait. We're cooking it down and then it has to be cooled down to go on our pie. So we just want to be cubing some of this rhubarb. This beautiful, beautiful rhubarb. Oh, the smell. Put it in there. Okay, this is Australian rhubarb. It's just where I'm living now. But you know, when I grew up as a kid in Yorkshire and they had the rhubarb fields behind in these sheds and we used to go in there Get the rhubarb, dip it in the sugar, and give it a chew. Mm. Now that brings back memories. That's what we used to do as kids. It was amazing. Oh, I love it. Anyway, we digress, let's crack on. Now I've got a couple of apples. We're going to put a couple of apples in. Peel it any which way you want. It's up to you. And you can use any apple, you know. I'm using green apples. Uh, but you can easy eat eating apples. That's up to you. Just peel them off. And then we're going to cube them up and chuck them in there with that. Okay, we want the pan on the flame, turn on the heat and we're going in there with just a little bit of salt. Not much, it's entirely up to you. We're going in there with about two tablespoons of sugar and a little splash of water to start off with the butter's going to melt down start cooking and the water's going to get in there we might have to add a little bit of water to actually bring out those juices so let's just give it a little stir through melt that butter in there now of course the butter is completely optional you don't have to use it if you don't wish so just stir it through and melt it down a little bit, cook it in there and we should have a nice little sauce starting. Oh, oh, oh the smell is unbelievable. I love that smell of rhubarb and apple. Oh, so it's going to be a rhubarb and custard pie with a little bit of apple. That's just in there for contrasting flavour, that's all. Right, look at your, your filling and as soon as it starts to mush down like that, that's enough. We don't need to take it any further, turn off the flame. That is absolutely super. All we need to do now is blind bake that pastry. Okay, our pastry then, out of the fridge. Now, as you can see, it's not very cold, but you know, we need to crack on. A little bit of flour on there, and then we want to get our pastry on and roll it out. 
Now, as we said, I'm using this humongous 8-inch spring form tin. So we need to roll it to fit that. So a little bit of flour on there, a little bit of flour on your pin, and let's get rolling. Okay, all we got to do now is get that in our tin. Now I've lined this tin, you don't have to line the tin. It's just habit. And then bob your pastry in there. Okay, just work your pastry up and plop it in. Get it right into the corner or right into the bottom. I don't know how you have a corner in around, but there you go. Now, don't worry about the overhang. We actually want some overhang to hold the pie up. And then we'll trim it afterwards. Now, obviously, if there's too much overhang, trim it beforehand and save the pastry. So all the way around. And you can take off that little bit of excess. Now, don't take it all off. It's going to hold the pie up. And then we want to be pricking the base all over. Now this is going to stop the base from rising and you can also prick a couple round the side. Now take some grease proof paper, give it a screwing up. Don't be frightened of screwing it, we're not throwing it away. It just makes it so much easier to bob in there. So we want that in there. Now, make sure you've got an overhang on your paper. That is going to help us pull out the baking beans when we've blind baked this. And I'm using ceramic baking beans, but you can use rice, you can use anything you want. Don't worry about it. And then we just bring that up to the side like that. And that should stop the side from caving in. Okay, our pie ready in the oven, 170, 15 minutes. So in we go in our preheated oven, 170 for 15 minutes. Okay, let's have that out of there. Now what we do is take our beads out of there, get the beads out. And then this is the old fashioned trick that people have forgotten about. We need to seal this, so just go around there with a little beaten egg. We've got this lovely fat bottom at the moment where it's been cooked, blind baked. It's really, really perfect, but what we're doing now we're putting a little bit of an egg wash seal on the inside and we're going to put it back in and we're going to give it just a couple of minutes inside there just to seal the egg on on the inside and then when we put our wet ingredients in we have a seal so we just need to put that back in the oven for two minutes and in it goes Okay, that will do. Okay, that's our pie. We leave that on there. Let that cool down whilst we crack on with the custard. Okay, custard can't be any simpler. We're using packet custard. What, a couple of tablespoons of custard powder in there. Straight in the pan. Let's not mess around. In there with a couple of tablespoons of sugar. We need to be going in there with some milk. You want to be gauging this a little bit for how much custard you want. Now I want a thick custard straight out. I'm going to be going in there with a little bit of vanilla. Flame on, stir in. Now a bit more milk because we want about halfway up our pie with custard. Just keep your milk handy 
because if it goes too thick too quick you can add a little bit more milk turn down or turn off the heat and it should thicken now residually okay that's about enough for me so we're just going to take that and put it to one side to completely well not completely but it's going to go cool while we tend to that pastry so and all we're having to do now is just nice and gently trim around the top of your pie let's make it look look the part okay so we've got our custard in there it started to cool down nicely and we're just going to tip it straight in our pie casing okay we're going to go in there with our filling now let's hope it doesn't completely sink to the bottom what we are going to do and it is completely optional a little bit of butter you don't have to do this but it's going to give a little bit of a different flavor through the top of our sourness there we go let's have that out of there oh fantastic oh look at that just look at that that is absolutely superb now here's a little tip for you you know now if you're really bothered about some of these dark bits that you have on there where it's caught a little bit now I'm not bothered I like it however if you are bothered you will take some scissors and just snip that off there so we are just going to leave that to cool down on there cool down a bit now if you want to set it up you put it in the fridge when it cools down serve it up with some vanilla ice cream superb okay we'll let it cool down just a little minute that'll do it's been in the fridge about 15 minutes since it went cool i'm hoping the custard set up a little bit inside let's get in here and open it up okay let's pop open this spring top see if we can take it up oh there you go oh yes please right let's get it on there and get a take a slice oh are we ready for this oh it's not gonna hold up oh it's not gonna hold up oh just look at that oh a little blob of ice cream oh look at that come on in we go oh custard rhubarb pie that is absolutely fabulous you've got the tartness from the rhubarb you've got that custard little bit of sweet in there mm. pastry is crunchy all served up with some ice cream oh man that is absolutely awesome if you like what we're doing don't forget smash that like and subscribe share with your friends all that kind of stuff catch you in the next video mm. oh what a flavor combination mmm that is amazing.